In this video, I'm going to be giving you an honest review of Emergent AI and go over whether it's the best AI app builder out there currently or whether there are better options. I'll also explain exactly what it does and who it's for and why it has been gaining quite some popularity recently. And I'll be doing that by comparing it to Lovable, giving them both the same prompt. So I'll also go over whether Emergent is actually a tool that will help you build an app that you can actually ship or whether it just helps you build a good starting point and from there you need to actually code. So if you haven't seen it yet, Emergent does SH isn't just another AI code generator. It's a full development environment that writes code, sets up your repo, runs tests, and deploys to production, all from one chat-like interface. So you can compare it to Lovable, since they are sort of the same thing, but one of them in my opinion is better. So for this test, I will ask both of these tools to build the same mini SAS, which will be a simple team habit tracker. So the prompt I will give is build a production-ready SAS called PulseLog using next.js, TypeScript, Prisma, and Postgres, Tailwind, Stripe Billing, and Email Magic Link Authentication with these features right here. So it's quite advanced with a Stripe 7-day trial, webhooks, public posts, dashboard with weekly chart, quite a few requirements. I'm going to ask both of them this exact same thing and I'll show you what both of them come up with. So first with Emergent, you will get to this chat-like interface where you have your app preview and then the chat right here. So first says, welcome to Emergent. You're looking to build a robust SaaS product with a solid stack, including Next.js, Prisma and Stripe. And then it says, I'll start building now. Now from there, you can kind of see what it is working on. So first right now, it's asking a question. So it wants to know four things, the database setup, the Stripe integration, email and magic link authentication, and the priority features. What you can do is click auto answer and it will then automatically answer so you can see right here what it said. Now of course you can also give your own answer which I recommend doing but for now I'll just use the auto answer. Then on the other hand we have Lovable. Now Lovable you can see I need to clarify an important limitation. Lovable doesn't support Next.js, it's built on React via TypeScript, Tailwind, CSS. However I can absolutely build PulseLog as a production ready. So what I'm going to do is just say yes, and it will build it with React, Fight, Lovable Cloud, which is also completely fine. Now here you can see Emergence as perfect, I'll proceed with sensible defaults, MongoDB already configured, Stripe test mode, easy to add real keys later, email authentication structure, and priority habit tracking dashboard with charts, public API and billing hooks. So now it's going to build it. Now what's special about Emergent is that it works with different agents. So it has a building agent, it has a testing agent, and you will see this happening later. So right now the building agent is working on the app. Now if you go to Lovable, you can see perfect, I'll build PulseLog as a production ready SaaS app. It shows the features in V1, the design system, and you need to enable cloud by clicking allow. And from there, it's now going to continue. Now, while it's building, I'll go over some of the other things offered in Emergent. So first, in terms of integrations. So first, you can, of course, connect to GitHub as a save to GitHub section here. So you can connect with GitHub. Then in terms of pricing, it has a pretty good free plan, which I'm currently using, but this gives you 10 daily credits. Now you can get 100 credits per month in the $20 per month plan. And this is for 100 credits per month on top of the 10 free credits. So you still get those. Then you can, for example, get 3000 credits and then the price will go up to $500. But even better, they have a pro plan. In the pro plan, you get a 1 million context window and you get ultra thinking. So it's going to build even better stuff. This will cost you $200 per month. And for teams, it's $300 per month, but you can just try it out for free. Now, if you would like to use Emergent, if you click on upgrade on any of their plans, or if you just sign up through the link down in the description, what you can then do is click add promo code. And here you can type in Dani and click apply. That will give you 5% off of any purchase you make. So you can see normally $200. Here you get 5% off, so $10. And it goes down to $190 per month. So if you want to claim that, you can just click on the link down in the description, even if you want to start for free, because then later you can still upgrade or you can just enter the code Dani at checkout in order to get that 5% off. And they also have some examples such as Clone X, Create a Budget Planner, Consult Plus, or Surprise Me. And if you go here, you can connect to GitHub. You can also attach files and images to show what you want to build. For example, you can clone a website with a screenshot. You can choose what model it uses. So for example, GPT-5, 
or Cloud 4.5 Sonnet, or if you upgrade to Pro, you can use Cloud 4.5 Sonnet with a 1 million contacts window. Then you can make your app public, or if you upgrade, you can make it private. And if you go to Advanced Controls, you can select MCP controls, so enable memory for your agent, Superbase MCP, and even Notion. Then you can also add another server. Then you have your templates, so you have a full stack template or a base Python template. You can set your credits and again the model. You can also start a voice recording of what you want to build. Now you can also see examples of what other people build under from the community. So you have your AI apps right here and you can just go in and see them. You can see landing pages, hack and play, digit sidekicks, etc. Now right now let's go back to Emergent. You can see what it is currently working on. So it's currently still working on it and so is Lovable, so it's just thinking longer. So both of them are taking some time here. Now it's also not an easy app that I asked them to build. Right here you can now already see the app preview actually for the habit tracker that I had it built. So what's interesting is you can see right now it says testing agent is running, which means the building agent just built this. Now the testing agent is going to see if everything works, if all the APIs connect, if you actually can create an account and whether it actually works or not. Now with Lovable, what I often find is you need to do this yourself. You need to go through the app and if something doesn't work, you need to ask it to fix it. Emergent just does this with an AI agent, which is pretty awesome. But if you want to actually preview it instead of a new window, you can just click open in new tab and then it will open it up. Now, for example, I'll go and click register and enter some details and then click create account. From there, it will now sign me in and take me to the app. You can see it has a API key right here that I asked. So now I can connect it to other things. I have my weekly check-ins and total habits. What I can do is click create habit. For example, let's say morning, meditation, then description, let's say five minutes of meditation. And then you can set the frequency to daily or weekly, create habit. So now you can see it now creates this habit and I can now click log check-in. And now you can see today it says total check-ins one, completed one. So it's actually working, it's showing a graph and I have an API key right here. Now, of course, this is not a full ready to go app. You want to have it build out more things, for example, creating an account section, but this is also just the beginning. As you can see, the login page, it says, is loading beautifully. Now let me test the complete user flow by registering a user. Now after that, it will continue building the other stuff. Lovable is also still working. It is creating a database schema first, then it's building a UI with the design system. So it's also taking quite some time on this one, but on Emergent, it already created the login and register page. On Lovable, nothing yet. So if speed matters to you, often I found Emergent to be faster than Lovable, but overall, I don't think speed is the most important factor. It is how well it actually builds the things. So right here in the meantime, it now says 47 testing agent messages. So it tested a bunch of stuff. Now here it says, great news, the testing agent has verified that all backend APIs are functioning as expected on the test runs. Here's a summary of the current state of your pulse log as MVP. So here are the core features implemented and tested. First, the seven day trial system with subscription tracking set up for Stripe integration. And you can just read it yourself if you want, but it's basically exactly what I asked it to build. From there, what you can now do is either click deploy or preview. Now, most likely you want to preview it and then maybe build out some stuff yourself. Now, what you can also do is once it's done building, you can click on code right here. Then here you can open the code in VS code. And now you can just go off of this code and edit it yourself. You can import it to your environment or do whatever else you want to do with it. So you can just copy the password and then you paste it in and click submit. And now here you can see all of the coding it did. So for example, if I just open up components, you can see how much stuff it pulled out. If I go to avatar right here, you can see the code for this specific section and you can now just write your own code or you can, for example, export this or import it somewhere else that you want to continue editing for if you are a coder. If you're not, you can also ask it to just build something else. So for example, add this specific feature and then it will go and add that. Now if you just click on deploy, what you can do is start deployment. Each new deployment does cost 50 credits per month and you can do a pre-deployment health check. So it has another AI agent that runs an automated code review to catch deployment blockers before launch. This just costs two to three credits. But now if I go and preview it again and just sign in, you can see that right now it says seven day free trial is active. 
trial ends on this date, which is 7 days from now. If I currently click upgrade now, nothing happens yet, because I haven't actually integrated my Stripe, but it has built it out already. So now I could for example say connect to Stripe, and then it will give me the steps that I need to take to connect the app to Stripe. Now here is the one that Lovable built, so track habits, build teams, if I click start free trial, you can see that currently actually nothing happens. So in this one I cannot even access the app and it has just built this landing page for now, since I cannot start the free trial. So you can see what it has built is a landing page, a design system, a schema, and the cloud has been activated. What it still needs to build is the app itself, basically only build the landing page. You can see it needs the authentication pages, the dashboard, the habit management UI, organization and team management, public API endpoint, and the Stripe billing integration. So in longer time than it took Emergent, it only built a landing page that looks pretty mediocre, while on Emergent it built the actual app. So in my opinion, it becomes pretty clear why Emergent is becoming so popular, it just works better than many other apps. You can see they also have an integration agent, which is now going over the integration with Stripe. So perfect, let me integrate Stripe for billing and subscriptions. First, I need to get the integration playbook. So it then gets that and then gives you the steps you need to take. So I'll just wait for this to finish up. So here it's now done. It says perfect, now I have the complete Stripe playbook. Before implementing, I need to ask you for your Stripe API keys. So what it then does is tell you exactly how to get your Stripe keys. Just go here, click on the link for test mode. You will need secret keys, starts with this, publishable keys, starts with this. For webhooks, we can set that up after the initial integration. Please provide your Stripe key so you can just send it and then it will integrate it itself. And then the integration agent will just integrate with Stripe. So overall, I think Emergent is the best AI app builder out there currently, and it just does a much better job than other tools that many people are promoting, such as Lovable. I think that Emergent is the best one out there for actual production-ready apps. Lovable is great for just creating a website or landing page without much functionality, but if you're building an actual app that you want to use, whether it's in your business, whether you want to sell it, whatever you want to do with it, I think for that Emergent is best. So again, I'll leave a link to Emergent down in the description, and if you then enter code DANI at checkout, you will get 5% off of any payments you do. So that concludes this honest review of Emergent. If this video was helpful in making a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.